Are you taking magnesium glycinate hoping it'll help you sleep better, calm your nerves, or stop those annoying muscle cramps, but nothing's happening? You're not alone, and it's not because magnesium is a scam or your supplement is broken. Here's the real reason. Magnesium doesn't work well on its own. Without certain key nutrients acting as co-pilots, your body can't properly absorb or activate it. It's like filling a car with premium fuel, but forgetting to charge the battery. It just won't run. In this video, you'll discover five essential nutrients that switch on your magnesium, unlocking its full power to help you sleep deeply, relax fully, and finally say goodbye to cramps, tingling, and those frustrating headaches. If you're not pairing magnesium with these, you could be wasting your time and your money. So if you care about your sleep, your stress levels, or your long-term health, tap the like button and hit subscribe. It helps us reach more people who deserve to feel better naturally. Now let's flip the switch on magnesium and unlock what it was truly meant to do for your body. 1. Vitamin B6 You might be thinking, I'm already taking a high-quality magnesium supplement, so why would I need vitamin B6? Here's the truth most people don't realize. Taking magnesium without enough vitamin B6 is like trying to ship a package without a delivery driver. B6 works behind the scenes, supporting the transport of magnesium into your cells and making sure it actually gets used by your body rather than just floating around or getting flushed out. A study published in Magnesium Research in 2003 found that vitamin B6 can significantly boost magnesium absorption and intracellular uptake especially in people who are under chronic stress or already magnesium deficient. And that's incredibly important because when you're stressed, your body burns through magnesium at an accelerated rate. Without enough B6, much of the magnesium you take never reaches the muscles, nerves, or brain cells that need it most. Instead, it may remain in your bloodstream or be eliminated before it can do any good. Even more compelling, Clinical research shows that pairing B6 with magnesium may help improve sleep and mood more effectively, while also reducing PMS symptoms, anxiety, and even migraines. If you're relying on magnesium to help with better sleep, calmer nerves, fewer headaches, or a sharper mind, but you're skipping B6, there's a good chance you're missing a key part of the equation. If you're using a B6 supplement, it's important to choose the right form. The most effective and bioavailable option is the active form of vitamin B6, known as pyridoxal 5-phosphate, or P5P. Remember, when taking vitamin B6 in supplements, don't take way too much. We have covered on this channel how taking high doses of B6 can result in serious problems. The RDA of B6 is less than 2 mg, so don't be taking more than 5 to 10 mg. That dose of P5P is typically enough to support magnesium absorption and healthy neurotransmitter function. You'll want to avoid the cheaper synthetic form, pyridoxine hydrochloride, which requires conversion by the liver and is often less efficient, particularly in people with liver issues or genetic variations affecting B6 metabolism. 2. Zinc Zinc is one of the most underrated minerals, but if people knew how powerfully it supports magnesium absorption and overall health, it would be a regular part of nearly everyone's routine. Zinc helps activate the enzymes and proteins your body uses to transport magnesium into cells, making it more bioavailable where it truly matters, in your muscles, brain, and nervous system. This is especially helpful for those under chronic stress or dealing with magnesium deficiency when your body struggles to retain enough magnesium on its own. But here's the catch. With zinc, more is not better. Taking high doses, especially above 50 milligrams per day, can disrupt the delicate balance of other minerals, particularly copper. That's because zinc and copper compete for absorption in the gut. When zinc intake is too high for too long, it can block copper absorption, leading to copper deficiency. This can result in weakened immunity, poor iron metabolism, fatigue, and even neurological issues. That's why experts recommend staying below 50 milligrams of zinc per day, unless otherwise advised by a healthcare provider. And if you're taking higher doses, such as 30 to 50 milligrams, it's wise to also include copper in your supplement regimen. The ideal zinc to copper ratio is around 10 to 1, meaning for every 10 milligrams of zinc, you should aim for about 1 milligram of copper to maintain mineral balance and avoid deficiencies. When used wisely, zinc doesn't just support your immune system and hormones, it also enhances the effectiveness of magnesium, helping you feel the full benefits of your supplements faster and more reliably. 3. Boron Boron might not be as popular as magnesium, calcium, or vitamin D, but this tiny trace mineral plays a big role in how well your body uses and stores magnesium, especially when it comes to protecting your bones. 
Most people don't realize that even if they're taking enough magnesium, they might not be getting the full benefit without boron quietly doing its job in the background. Boron plays a quiet but crucial role in helping your body absorb, store, and use magnesium more efficiently, particularly in the skeletal system. What many people don't realize is that your bones aren't just made of calcium, they also serve as your body's magnesium safety net. In fact, about 50 to 60% of your total body magnesium is stored in your bones. Whenever your blood magnesium levels drop, due to stress, poor diet, or illness, your body taps into this bone reservoir to keep vital functions running, like maintaining a steady heartbeat, relaxing your muscles, and calming your nerves. This is where boron becomes essential. It helps regulate how magnesium is stored and released from your bones. Without enough boron, your body may struggle to retain magnesium, and much of the magnesium you take, whether through diet or supplements, may not be effectively locked into your skeletal system. This can lead to ongoing deficiency even if you're supplementing regularly. Boron also supports the function of other nutrients that work alongside magnesium, including calcium, vitamin D, and certain hormones that influence bone density and mineral balance. Experts suggest that just 3 to 6 milligrams of boron daily can significantly improve magnesium retention, bone health, and overall mineral synergy. You can get boron naturally from foods like prunes, raisins, almonds, avocados, and leafy greens, or take it as a supplement in low doses. 4. Vitamin D3 might be the reason your sleep is still a mess, your cramps won't stop, and your anxiety won't ease, even though you're taking magnesium glycinate in a proper dose. This isn't hype, it's hard science. And let me explain the science in plain English. Your body doesn't just absorb magnesium the moment you swallow it, it needs help. Vitamin D3 is one of the key hormones that tells your gut to open the gate for magnesium to be absorbed. It does this by increasing the production of special proteins like TRPM6 and TRPM7. These are like magnesium channels in your digestive tract. If your D3 levels are too low, your body might only absorb a fraction of the magnesium you're taking. The rest is wasted. But here's the catch. Your body also needs magnesium to activate vitamin D3 in the liver and kidneys. So it's not a one-way street. It's a feedback loop. If one is low, it weakens the other. A 2018 study in the Journal of the American Osteopathic Association confirmed this. Magnesium is required for the synthesis and metabolism of vitamin D. Without magnesium, vitamin D is not as effective. So, taking magnesium without D3 is reduces its effectiveness. But here's the twist. When you take vitamin D3, your body starts absorbing more calcium, which is great for your bones. But too much free calcium can block magnesium absorption and get deposited in soft tissues, like arteries and joints, if it's not guided to the right places. That's where vitamin K2, especially MK7 form, comes in. It activates matrix GLA protein and osteocalcin, both of which direct calcium into bones and teeth and away from your arteries and tissues. K2 literally prevents magnesium's enemy, calcium, from causing damage and stealing the spotlight. Without K2, you're not only risking magnesium waste, you're also risking calcium buildup in the wrong places. So the next time you say, magnesium isn't doing anything for me, ask yourself, are you giving it what it needs to actually work? 5. Prebiotics You've probably heard of probiotics, the good bacteria in your gut. But what many people overlook are prebiotics, the special plant fibers that feed those bacteria and help them flourish. And when it comes to magnesium absorption, prebiotics may be one of the most underrated tools you're missing. Prebiotics help create the ideal gut environment for nutrient absorption. When your gut bacteria ferment these fibers, they produce short-chain fatty acids that lower the pH of your intestines, making minerals like magnesium more soluble and easier to absorb. So even if you're taking magnesium supplements or eating magnesium-rich foods, your gut might not fully absorb them unless it's properly nourished, and that's where prebiotics step in. But here's an important warning. Refined carbohydrates, like white bread, pastries, sugary cereals, and sweetened drinks, can severely deplete your magnesium levels. They spike insulin, increase urinary magnesium loss, and feed the wrong kind of gut bacteria that disrupt magnesium absorption. Even excessive amounts of whole grains, while healthier, can be problematic if they're high in phytic acid, a compound that binds to magnesium and reduces its availability in the body. So while fiber is important, it's the right kind of fiber that matters. And that means getting your prebiotics from sources like garlic, onions, leeks, asparagus, green bananas, apples, oats, and chicory root. You can also use a prebiotic supplement, but start slowly to avoid digestive upset. Remember, 
Before making any big changes or adjusting your supplement routine, be sure to speak with your healthcare provider, especially if you're managing a health condition. Your body is unique, and guidance from a professional can make all the difference. If you found this video helpful, give it a quick thumbs up. It really helps others who are struggling with magnesium-related issues discover this content. And if you're passionate about natural health and want more clear, science-backed videos like this, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a new release. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one.